In this video, I'm going to show you how to assess the flesh Kincaid reading level for patient instructions or for any document. And I'll also show you then some ways to uh, lower that reading level to make it simpler for your patients. Your patient instructions should have a flesh Kincaid reading level of uh, 7th grade, that is 7.0 or less. Ideally, we'd like it to be 5th grade, 5.0 or less. So first I'm going to show you how you actually turn on the Flesh Kincaid Reading Level Assessment Tool in Microsoft Word. And so you'll go up here to your File button. This is in Word 2010, but in other versions of Word it's similar. It's just located a different place and you're going to go down to options so you want to find word options whatever version of word you're in click on that and then you're going to find proofing and click on the proofing menu or proofing tab and then you want to go down to where it talks about correcting spelling and grammar and what you want to do once you're down there is make sure that this box right here show readability statistics that that box is in fact checked, show readability statistics. And if that box is checked, when you uh, ask it to check spelling, uh, it will then, after it's done, show your Flesh Kincaid uh, reading level. So we have that box checked, and we can click OK on that. And now here we have some text for some patient instructions, and I'm just going to start with something very simple here to show you how this is done. So this is talking about uh, tendon repair and, and what the patient needs to do. It's kind of an introduction statement for what the patient needs to do after their surgery. It reads, the surgery to repair your tendon is only the beginning. Without proper care after the surgery, the tendon repair will rupture and your hand will not function properly. Seems simple enough. So let's go ahead and check our flesh Kincaid reading level. I'm going to go up here to the review tab and then check my spelling and clicking on that I didn't have any spelling errors so it goes right to this readability statistics box and you can see down here the flesh Kincaid grade level is 9.2 hmm, that's a bit too high uh, it's a ninth grade reading level and we wanted it either below 7 or ideally below 5 so okay we have some work to do so how can you reduce the reading level of your instructions or of your document well, there's a couple critical things you can do. One is to eliminate uh, as many words as possible that have more than two syllables. Uh, once you get into three syllable words and above, uh, that really increases your reading level. The other thing you want to do is to make your sentences shorter uh, and also use as simple of words as possible to uh, get your point across. So this is kind of a long sentence. Uh, here's kind of one clause. Uh, and then there's a semicolon, another phrase, another clause. So let's shorten that up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this semicolon. And then, of course, capitalize my next word. And then let's start to go through. So now I've broken that up into shorter sentences. Now let's go through. The surgery. Well, surgery is a three-syllable word, but I'm not sure what else I can use to mean that same thing. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. Surgery to repair your tendon. Again, I'm not sure what I can do to make those simpler. I might be able to use the word fix instead of repair, but let's leave that for now. Uh, is only the beginning. Okay, beginning is a three-syllable word, and that's one we can easily replace. So I'm going to make that into start. It's only the start. It means pretty much the same thing. Uh, without proper care after the surgery, well, we just talked about surgery, so you know what? We can probably just get rid of these words after the surgery. Uh, that's pretty much implied, and they just add to length. So let's get right out of that. Um, without proper care, the tendon repair will rupture. Now, rupture is kind of a high-level word. I bet if we got rid of that one, that would make it easier. I don't know too many fifth graders that know what rupture means. So let's put break there um, and your hand will not function properly well properly here's another three syllable word we need to get rid of that 
um, function properly. Makes sense to me, but let's just make that a lot simpler and just say that your hand will not work. So now we have the surgery to repair your tendon is only the start. Without proper care, the tendon repair will break and your hand will not work. Means pretty much the same thing. Let's check and see where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and check my spelling and grammar. Again, I didn't have any misspelled words, so it goes right to these re readability statistics. And now we have a flesh concave reading level of 5.3. That's pretty good. It's well under 7. Um, it's almost under 5. Uh, let's try one more thing. You know what? Proper is kind of a... Um, uh, word that I'm not sure all fifth graders would understand. Um, let's get rid of that and see what that does to say without care and try to see where we are now. Now we're at 4.7. Just getting rid of that one word uh, helped bring us down below 5.0. So that's one way that you can use the flesh Kincaid uh, readability statistics to ensure that your patient handouts are at a grade level uh, that's low enough. Again, hopefully below 7 um, and even better if it's below 5 uh, so that your clients, uh, no matter what their background or no matter what their age, uh, might be able to read and understand your client instructions.